In this tutorial, we'll cover two tools which are located in the Derive suite of icons. They are Offset Surface and the Thicken tool. These are used to add thickness or offset any solid or surface object. Let's begin by creating a simple object. Start with the Rectangle Drawing tool, pull that up into a solid box, and then we'll continue to use the Rectangle Drawing tool to insert additional features into the object. And now let's use the Offset Surface tool on this object. This tool can be applied to any solid or surface object. In this case, we have a solid object, and in order to better visualize this tool, I'm going to use the Delete tool, and I'll hold the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows, and delete just the face of that object, so we can see inside. Now select the Offset Surface tool, click on the object, and all the surfaces are offset a specific distance. If we look in the Tool Options palette, we can see that we can interactively modify or change that value immediately after the operation. We can give it a positive or a negative value. Now let's apply the Thicken tool to this object. With the tool selected, click on the object and it's converted into a solid slab of uniform thickness. Look in the Tool Options palette and you can see that you can interactively change that thickness value after it's applied to the object. We can also control the direction of that thickness. We can go out, in, or through the center of the original surface. In addition, you can use the Section Tool or the Dynamic Clipping Planes to observe that the thickness is uniformly applied to all surfaces on the object. Now let's create another object. We use the Rectangle Drawing Tool and create a solid box. I'm going to reshape this by using the Move tool, and I will hold the Command key down to select just a segment, and then I can press and release the Command key again to turn on the perpendicular switch. Let's move to the back side, and using the Reshape tool, I'll reshape the back face and reshape it again to pull that part of the geometry up. I'm going to use the Delete tool, once again hold the Command key down to delete a few of the faces, and there's a surface shell of our object. And then we can use the Thicken tool to convert the surface shell into solid walls. It should be noted that the Offset Surface tool can also be used at just the face level. For example, if I hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and select just a face, then the Offset Surface is applied to just that selected face. These tools are not limited to just orthogonal shapes. They can also be used on smooth organic objects. For example, let's generate a sphere and I'll move the control handles so that I'll generate a partial sphere. And to make that a surface object, I'll go to the closure icons and make it a surface sphere. And now let's see how the offset and thicken tools work on this smooth curved surface. Simply select the offset surface tool, click on the object, and it's offset very easily. Let's choose the thicken tool. Click on a surface and a uniform thickness is applied to that curved surface. The offset surface and thicken tools can also be used on organic NURBS type surfaces. For example, let's generate a NURBS surface by drawing some 2D spline curves. And for the second curve, I'm going to extend this a little more in the back. And then I'm going to move that curve straight up Press and release the command, go in the perpendicular direction, and there's our two curves. And then I'll go down to the bottom in the NURBS tools, and I'll select NURBS by lofting. Select the two curves, and a nice surface is then fit between those two curves. Then select the Thicken tool, click on that curved surface, and you can see that the Thicken tool has no problem converting that into a solid slab of uniform thickness. And we'll conclude this tutorial with one final sample project. We'll recreate this dome-type canopy here by first deriving the object as a surface object, then using the Thicken tool to give it its uniform thickness. We begin by creating a solid box using the Rectangle Drawing tool. Then we'll use the Sphere tool, and I'll snap right to the midpoint, and then snap to the end point of the box for the radius. I'll do that four times to put a sphere at the bottom of each end of our box. Now 
Then we'll use the Boolean difference tool to subtract each of the spheres from the box. With the difference tool active, click on the box, then click on the sphere, and the sphere is subtracted from the box. We'll do this four times for each of the four spheres. And there we've carved out the bottom of our canopy. Now use the delete tool to delete all the faces that are on top of the solid object. Holding down the command can Mac or the control can windows, I can get rid of these top five faces. And we end up with just a surface object which represents our canopy. Our final step is to select the thicken tool, give it the thickness that we desire, let's say six inches, and let's go inward, click on the object, and our surface canopy is now a solid object of uniform thickness. And just for fun, let's try another variation of this canopy. I generated a box and a series of spheres as we did before, but I made the spheres with a smaller radius so they don't extend to the very end of the box. Then as we did before, I will use the Boolean difference tool to subtract all the spheres from that box to give us our canopy shape on the bottom. And then using the delete tool, I'll hold down the command key to get rid of these extra faces. And now the solid has become a surface object. And then we'll use our thicken tool with the same settings we used last time, six inches inward. And we generate a different type of canopy by using the smaller radius sphere. And this concludes the thicken tutorial.